This is my friend Noah. He's a studio guitar graduate from Cal Baptist University. He's currently getting his like master's and PhD in guitar and tone. Yeah, Strymon PhD. Noah is a highly skilled and highly trained guitarist, which is why I thought he would be the perfect person to try out some of my favorite Quad Cortex presets. I'm excited to try his presets. I'm pretty proud of these things, but I want you to be honest. All right, I guess we'll see if they sound good. So we're gonna start with the pop punk one. This is my newest. <laughs> I have this in kind of like an edge of breakup sound. So you know how like on big amps there was like a foot switch so you could do like a clean channel, dirty channel? So I actually have it set up that way. So this would be the clean channel, so here's the dirty. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So this is actually a capture of the little orange over there. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like the bite. It sounds huge to be honest. This is like my cloud caliber. Oh yeah. Kind of like tails off. Uh huh. Yeah, it has the same granulization as the cloud. have much use for a really big reverb in pop punk but I feel like it'd be nice to have like Pretty especially there. if you're doing like a high arpeggio thing like Paramore or something yeah. this would be like a stage one drive yeah it's a good crunch and then this is like a distortion the first stage again yeah. First stage, like supposed to be like emulating. It's, it's based off the Bell Star pedal. I actually dialed it in based on how it's sounding through the amp capture. If I capture the pedal how it is and how I use it with my actual amp, it doesn't quite translate the same way. But if I dial it in based off what it's gonna actually sound like through here, you know, through the capture, it yeah. tends to sound better. That's good, yeah, because that's where you're gonna play it on the stage, you know. This is actually based off the shark. <laughs> Sounds very band Camino, Camino -y. Okay, so here's the pedal board one. It's my like one for one, as close as you could, recreation of what's on my pedal board. Okay. So there's a good bite to it. It's like right on the edge of breakup. But here's like a fuzz. <laughs> It's not too much of a fuzz either, you know? Yeah, it's like a light. It's based off the Bender fuzz. Like it just kind of feels like a thick drive. Yeah. Nice. Here's stage one, so this would be like the Bell Star equivalent. Dude, I really like the Bell Star ones that you have. So this one isn't even a Bell Star, that, but it's, it's supposed to break. It basically sound like sounds that. pretty similar to how it happened, yeah. And then here's like the moonshine stack. Like more midsy and thicker. They have like a chorus sound. This one's like super like 1975, I'd say, like 80s. This is exactly what a chorus is supposed to do. Nice. Yeah, it's got like it's got like a good shimmer to it. Uh, I got a slap delay on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's only one riff. <laughs> Here's like our normal delay. This one's a little bit darker than the other ones. Oh, I like that. It's cool though, right? Like, I like the modulation on it. Yeah. yeah, this one's the most wobbly for sure. Pretty well, sweet. Well, it reminds me a lot of Mondelay because I use the, the strum L cap. L You know what's crazy about their stuff is like, you, like this is at 50% and it doesn't really feel like the mix knobs at yeah, 50%. It doesn't feel like too much. You know what I really like on your presets is your compression settings. 
So this one, I think you'll notice it more. It's like color. So like if I take it off, and then I put it back. It's like warmer, right? Yeah. It's like just enough squish. And then this is like a big modulated verb. There you go. This is my JM Worship preset, which has a, an amp capture in my MX-11, which is like a AC style amp. And this one's supposed to be kind of more of like the clean edge of breakup tones and like tons of verb. Okay. You know, the typical yeah, classic like, worship. yeah, classic worship. So let me put the, like the cloud style verb on it. Here's the clean. Yeah, all your wet effects have good modulation. That's kind of my secret. That's Are you gonna just version. give everyone my secret? So, <laughs> yeah. just, so I just put modulation on secrets. It's modulation. Yeah. Yeah, so this one has like a little more prominent delay, but it's still got tons of that model. It's not like a true uh, digital delay. Oh, nice. This core. Yeah. <laughs> That's the stuff right there. It's stage one. So this is like a clon style drive that I've put in like a transparent kind of setting. Yeah, it's a good move on pedal. Like mm -hmm. first bite, you know? Right there. Sweet. Yeah, alright, and then here's your favorite, the Bell Star. This is like our kind of middle middle of the road game. Yeah. And our Sound. Um, start. And here's our like big lead sound. This is just like a clon that's whacked out. Some people have their drives like a little too bright, mm -hmm. but it's. A... Have you ever played on clon? Uh, an actual clon? Nope. Their voicings are kind of like that. Some of the like really high highs are just naturally carved out. Yeah, because I'm more of like a dark drive guy as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like pre-set up for you. Here's our, our worshipy chorus. Maybe with the bell star, get some clarity. Pretty sweet. Yep. And I have like multiple stages of verb. It's like my... This is the one I kind of go to for most things. And if I needed something super tight. I use sounds like that all the time. For sure. Especially in worship actually. I feel like that's a rarity. Cause you know what I mean? You mainly hear about like, oh dude, reverb. Lots of reverb, lots of reverb. But that's not what I'm saying. Like just cause it's worship doesn't mean you have to like always verb it out. You yeah. Know? Sometimes you can really delay it out. So I have this swell patch where it's just like tons and tons of verb. That's good. Pretty rich, right? For the swells, you need a lot of uh, modulation. You can easily add the chorus back in. That's probably your vibe. You like chorus, so... Yeah, I like chorus in moderation. It's a good swell song. And that's essentially the, the worship patch. Yeah, it sounds good. Well, there's a lot of usable sounds in here. But the nice thing about getting the preset is like it's basically all set up for you and then you can kind of tweak it if you want to like change yep. it to your sound a little bit I guess. What's cool about this is because this is like the first time I'm in the room with somebody else with a totally different guitar set up and like you play yeah. very differently than me. It still sounds great. Yeah man. I mean like we didn't really touch much and I'm like it still works. To me that's like the sign of a good preset. It sounds great. How many fins? Fins, 10 fins. Oh 11 dude, fins. 11 fins. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go buy them. Some. Yeah, they actually sound good, bro. I'm surprised. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we know how Noah feels about the presets, we've put together a little jam just so you could hear them in context. Now, if you want to see how we made this song, that video is going to be on Noah's channel. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. And with that, let's jam.
copy of any of these presets you've heard today. I've got links to them in the description. There's also a bundle edition that includes every preset you've heard today. Huge thank you to everyone who grabs a copy. It's a big support to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it before you head out and subscribe to the channel and subscribe to Noah's channel. Remember that video on how we made the jam you just heard is gonna be over there and I'll catch you next time. He plays <laughs> studio guitar at Cal Baptist University. Mega Riz. Did I use Riz correctly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mega Riz. And you have to say Mega before it. Okay, good. Yeah, good. I wasn't sure. So this is Noah. I'm Noah. <laughs>